Welcome to the Travel Agent Podcast. I'm your host, Aileen Blanco. I interview successful industry professionals and share my personal journey to becoming a travel agent. The show is for aspiring travel agents and travel professionals at every level. My mission is to uncover the universal keys to thrive in this business. Join me as I take a closer look into the life of a travel agent. Hello and welcome back to the Travel Agent Podcast. Today we have such an amazing guest. Uh, He has been in the industry for a while and he's been killing it and I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan. I own Jonathan's Travels, which is affiliated with Travel Store in Los Angeles. Wonderful. So I start all of my interviews off with, tell me how you got into the industry. Great question. Complicated one. So uh, I'll I'll date back to uh, 1994 and the Northridge earthquake in LA. Um, I grew up in Santa Monica and after LA sadly fell down, we looked at moving to a new location and relocating our life somewhere a little farther away from earthquakes and moved to Arizona. Discovered we didn't like it very much and started traveling. And that's really when I got into travel, though. I think I'd always loved it. I'd been at least going on smaller trips in Las Vegas and stuff with my grandparents since I was two. So I I think I always loved it, but really got into it in a bigger way um, then, just because life kind of changed and everything got mixed up and uh, started getting really into it, not just from a consumer standpoint, but from a business standpoint, actually. And then 95 happened and the commission cuts happened and the industry had a big shift. And right in that time when I was thinking of maybe I'll want this to be my career, everything changed. Um, So while I knew a lot about it and was really into it, I didn't focus on it um, other than just a love for travel and traveling uh, the world every time I could. Flash forward to uh, 2000 and the end of 2010, Um, and I needed a big career change. I had been working with my mom and her company and then she passed away. Um, and I had to decide what I was going to do, what new position did I want to stay in the same industry or where did I want to go and kind of thought, well, what about, let me get into travel. And actually someone that had suggested, why don't you take a look at travel and gave me a great idea that became my first big account and, and everything kind of rolled from there. And I, I had actually been a client of travel store before I worked for them. So I'd been a client dating back to like 2001. Um, and the agent that I was working with, I called and I told what was going on. She said, yeah, you should definitely come do this. And they were offering a travel school at that time. And uh, the rest is history. 10 years later, we've, we've grown quite. And uh, yeah, that, that's kind of how I got into it. So since you've been traveling and has, mm-hmm. have had your agency for the last 10 years, what is something that you, wa- that you weren't really great at in the beginning that you were kind of uh, a rock star right now? I, I had to learn the GDS. Uh, that, was, that was a big one for me. Um, while I knew a lot of the codes and stuff in terms of like city codes, that kind of stuff, I, I didn't know Sabre at all. Um, I've always been pretty techy, but it was the biggest uphill challenge at the beginning. Um, cause I'd been studying most of the rest for a lot of my life, but did not know Sabre. Now I'm proud to say I'm the guy that like teaches classes in it half of the time. So uh, it's something I'm really proud of learning and, and how I can use it to assist my clients and help other agents and, and, uh, make the best of what our industry is and, and really be able to be, um, because the, the basis to me of being a travel agent People think of it as all kinds of things. But if you go back to the definition of what we are, and if you go to the current government stimulus package definition to the, of what we are, we are ticketing agents. So first and foremost, it's understanding air, no matter what. That people think, oh, you can just click or do this. First and foremost, we are air agents. We always have been. Air, rental car, and hotel, which is the base of the GDS. So knowing that is, is the key to being good at your job. From there, everything else is an additional art form. But you have to know your basics. You have to know your stepping stones before you move up to the top level. So uh, that, that to me was a big one. And, and mastering it has, has been a, I'll never truly master it. I don't even think Sabre's mastered Sabre. But, but gaining as much knowledge as I have has been uh, really something I'm proud of and learned so far. So for newer agents, 
What is something that you wish you would have known in the very beginning that would have been extremely helpful to start a drain agency? Good question. Uh, huh. That's a, that's a tough one. Um, I mean, agents need to come in knowing that this is truly a sales job, that just because you love to travel doesn't mean you're a good travel agent. Um, that's the biggest mistake, I'll say it this way, that I can think that a lot of people come into it with is, oh my God, I love to travel. I want to travel all the time. I'll be a travel agent. But that isn't the job. Uh, it's, it's a sales and customer service job. So um, maybe truly understanding that I'd never have a day off ever again uh, would, have been, <laughs> would have been nice to know. Um, but I, I haven't been had a single true day off in, in 10 years. No holidays, no weekends, no nothing. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't have plenty of time to do stuff and have fun and uh, to go, but it's a, it's a balance of life, of, of mixing and matching both. And you have to be there for your clients when they need you. At the same time, nobody always needs you every minute of the day or night. I think that's overall being an entrepreneur. I think people yep. kind of forget like, yeah, when you have a nine to five, you get PTO and you know you get your weekend sometimes. But entrepreneur, you're never really, you're never really free from it. <laughs> no. Definitely, definitely not. So what is like one of the, the most important things you feel like you've gained from this industry? Knowledge of the world, a respect for cultures everywhere, uh, an understanding of the planet um, better than so many just because of the experiences we've gotten to have going out. A rarely boring life because we're never here. Um, we try to, we're never out of office, but at the same time, we are always uh, connected uh, and we are, but that can be from anywhere. So our, it's, a, it's a mobile office, which is something I've really loved about this is if I have Wi-Fi in my computer, it doesn't really matter if I'm sitting at my desk or I'm in the middle of the desert somewhere. Um, so it, it's, it's a position like that. I mean, that's really the best benefits of this, I think, is really the flexibility of it all and being able to do what we want, where we want to do it, but still make everything happen for work. So I'm going to ask you some questions about COVID and how you have been able to kind of overcome that as an obstacle and your plan uh, moving forward as things, I don't know if they're getting better or worse at this point, but... <laughs> what you're basically what your plan is and what you've been doing. Um, no, that's a, that's a great point because it's, it's an interesting, obviously we've all been through an interesting time now and hoping for a better 2021 ahead. Um, best. Uh, well, let me tell you what we do and I'll give my best suggestions off of this is work every contact you have. Um, uh, get out there yourself. Um, even if it's a struggle or it's hard, everyone's watching what you're doing. People, if you are staying at home and you're telling others to go out, no one will go. That, that's, that's the first key point I made. So what we started doing was in June when things started to reopen, we left June 25th um, and we're back and the world was watching. You know, are you okay? Are you fine? It's, it's how you behave yourself, how you act, how you watch out for yourself and follow the rules and everything is okay. So we went and we traveled uh, uh, to Mexico, just a short little easy trip. Uh, and from there, we went uh, home for a little bit, and then we started the big stuff. So it was really nice to get the experience of getting out, and it was a little nerve-wracking at first, which I think it is for everyone. So that's what we've done. We've really worked our contacts, kept up with everyone as much as possible, um, and then started to lead by example um, uh, and, and try to be a good influence for everyone out there. And our clients have then followed behind in that. And so what is your plan going forward for 2021? Do you, do you plan on continuing to travel? Is there any safety precautions and how you're going about like insurance and just making sure that your clients are safe and everything? So, I, I mean, we definitely are a big supporter, I guess, say of travel insurance. I think it's a great idea to have it. We take it out for ourselves as well, too. In addition, uh, I was able to find through actually a trade publication. I can't remember which one. Uh, specifically COVID coverage, uh, which has now been uh, joined as part of our agency uh, to add coverage. So it was something a client requested where they said, well, what happens if we do get sick? How do we get home? And it's specifically additional coverage just for that. So that that's a big one that we we are looking at supporting. Of course, with the vaccine coming out shortly, that's, that's a great thing that's going to help us all. 
significantly. In addition, just a, hopefully a more thorough testing program and contact tracing coming up with the next administration in the U.S. to actually track movements in and have testing requirements into the U.S., which we don't have right now, but most of the rest of the world does um, that's open. Um, and that helps people feel better, too, that everyone getting onto the plane has been tested uh, before they're getting on because you can't go to the next destination without that. So things like that are really helping um, and helping to encourage the world moving forward. Wonderful. So my last question is, like, what do you have going on in your life and in business that you're super excited about that's coming up? Oh, wow. Um, well, we're, we're, we've been home now for two weeks, and we're already getting ready to go away again. Uh, the next one uh, I'm, I'm excited about, we need to get our United status um, because we've flown so much, but we didn't have any United segments. So we're literally sitting on status if we just do some short runs. So we're going skiing in December. Um, which will be really fun and just a great excuse to get platinum status. So that's, that's exciting. We just got three new kittens, which are now suddenly gone, but they were running around us. Uh, we've had those yesterday. So on a professional, uh, personal note, oh, wait, 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 behind me up there. There's one. Oh, um, <laughs> on a, on a personal note, uh, that's been really exciting. Um, and just again, hoping for a great 2021, just trying to keep up with all of our clients and, and uh, uh, get stuff planning for the following year. While working on, I should also say, while working on new endeavors too. People think now no one is doing anything. The truth is, this is the time you're preparing for people to do things. So it's the right time to be calling, looking for new opportunities, because if you don't do it, someone else will. Um, there was something interesting that we had talked about in our free interview about your um, social media and your website, that that's not typically how you captured your audience. No. Um, that's the, one of the first things they always tell us. You have to have a website. You have to be very you know, involved in your social media. How are you able to get around that? Be good at what you do. Network, talk to people, and use the best, the best uh, referral you can get is not from Instagram or from a website or from Yelp. The best referral you can get is a direct referral from someone. So most of my business has been uh, referral based, um, either networking and talking to people, but usually it's client referral to someone else, uh, someone I work with who owns a company and I should talk to that company or, or I know a person that would be great for you. Once they, once people feel confident in what you do, your a lot of your business in, in this, especially in travel, it's a referral business. It's the power of recommendation that will really drive up your business. The other stuff is icing on the cake and it's nice and it can work a lot too. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. We're thrilled about how our social media has gone so far. We've, uh, we're up to 11,000 something followers on Instagram in um, a little less than two years, plus Facebook, plus everything else. But yeah, my proudest moments are being when I, when I have a great client and they recommend me to someone. Um, because that says that they truly loved what they, that, what we offered, um, and then want to share that with others. And that's really why I love the diversity of my guests, because there is multiple ways to become successful. There's not Absolutely. just one path. No, no, definitely not. And so what's your specialty? Everything. And that is wonderful. Cause they always say you got a niche down, but you are killing it doing everything. So it's. It's everything. When the answer is, do you do this? The key answer to being successful in this business is yes. And that means learning all of it too. Um, that doesn't mean saying you can do it and you have no idea what you're doing. It means study, learn however you need to do it. Everyone learns in a different way. Some people can learn on the go really well and pick it up. Um, that's why knowing your basics is so critical. And for newer agents coming in who think the GDS is hard and not needed, Knowing your GDS is the most critical thing you can do. The rest of it all falls into place, whether you're booking 400 people or you're booking um, a luxury leisure group or you're booking a cruise or you're booking a corporate trip to a meeting in Phoenix, doesn't matter. Knowing your system, knowing your ground rules are the most important thing. You can't, you can't write without learning the alphabet first. First, know your basics and then the rest of it is all easy. There's really so many people in our business like to define sectors as specialties and you can know one and not know the other but truthfully if you understand your basics you know them all booking one person or booking 400 people isn't all that much different 
yes, you'll negotiate a hotel contract and it's certainly a lot, it's 400 people more work than one, but the skills behind that are exactly the same. More multitasking. Yes, there's more to it, but, but the basics of the skills. So if, you, if you're great at the basics, the rest of it is easy. You're just doing more of what you're already great at. I love that advice. I hope everybody's listening to all the gems that have been dropped today. Again, I just want to thank you for coming on the show. I'm so excited to follow what you're doing. I am one of your 11,000 Instagram followers. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just, I look forward to what you're doing because I just, I feel like there's, you, you give hope to another way of doing business. Um, I because, appreciate that. So you are an inspiration. And again, if you want to learn anything about, not anything, but if you want to learn more (laughs) about Jonathan, (laughs) you can go to the blog post and uh, his information will be there. So thank you again. You're very welcome. Thank you, Lynn, for having me today. Thank you for joining the Travel Agent Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review. Visit the travelagentpodcast.com for more information about today's episode and other travel agent resources. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. Until next time, continue to build a travel business you love.